welcome at another episode of Fun Mathematics. And uh, today we are going to speak about um, kind of different topics, different different topic than, than, than the things we were talking about before. We are going to to speak about calculus or, or mathematical analysis, as it is sometimes called. And like the point of today's talk would be would be maybe maybe just beginning, but but I would like to call it something like like what what calculus is is really about. Yeah, so so this this will be mm, the main question I will I will try to answer at least that is my understanding of of this this topic, and it's actually quite quite funny history that when I was studying at at university and um, in first year of, of the university you have lectures of, of calculus or analysis and sometimes these these lectures are just just learning how to calculate something with, which is the name of calculus that you you're calculating some 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 problems or or sometimes so uh, these these lectures are even even with proof but uh, the problem is that it's not very understandable and the main problem for for me was not not enough motivation not not enough interest to even want to want to understand it yeah, so so for example you have some really clever methods which were invented after many many years of 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 uh, work of of very good mathematicians but like when and they are teaching calculus. They they just say you do this, 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 and this, and then follow follow the method, and, and you will obtain the right result. And they don't explain why why it works and why why you should care. So so this this was something I had to, I had to basically to, to discover on my own. So so let's let's start with something something which is called called limit and limit limit of of a sequence. And basically, if you understand limits, there is something like there is something like alphabet of of the analysis. So if you understand limits, you can you can possibly understand everything. And if you don't understand what what limit means, then you cannot understand almost anything in, in the analysis. So it's um, kind of key 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 thing. So well imagine that you have a sequence of of real numbers. So some numbers a1, so on, a1, a2, a3. Oh, let me write it down. And so we would like to know how this sequence will develop. So we have some kind of, of sequence. Here is, for example, value of, of a1. Here is a2, and so on. And the question will be whether the when we go further in the sequence, whether we will have some some kind of, of value which the sequence will go close to it. Or whether the sequence is, is just just changing the values all over and never never goes to to close to anything. And so so basically for example if you have sequence one minus one, one minus one, so so you are just jumping from 1 to minus 1 and back back and forth then this sequence that is not is not going to anything there is there is not not mm, some some point it, it does not convert to to anything there there is nothing which which we could we could say that it's closing to but um, Sometimes it will look like that the, the terms of the sequence will be maybe maybe in the beginning kind of crazy like like this, and uh, the line probably shouldn't be there. And like after some time, if you if you go long enough, they will close to some to some value. Yeah. So so for example for example take take one over x, one over maybe maybe better one over n. So a n is equal to this to this quantity. So this this sequence starts as one, one half, one third, one over four, one over fifth, and so on. And this is going, this is decreasing all the time, and it's it's going to going to zero. So so if if I draw a picture, the sequence looks like looks like this. Ah. 
as you can see it's going closer and closer to the zero so limit is some kind of, of uh, definition definition which allows us to formally describe this thing so so let me explain what does what does it mean and then we are going to going to explain why we should care about how how the sequence sequence is is, is uh, going in, in in infinity so so what what does it mean that that um, some some uh, limit limit is the is the point it's it's converging to so so like it's denoted like this that if I have sequence a n and I have limit to infinity then it's equal to some to some big a and in such a way we write that a n is is converging to this big a if something holds and it's it's kind of in a mathematical term and I will I will explain it so, so for every every epsilon larger than zero there exists n zero such that for every n at least n zero the distance of a n from a will be very small so a n will be really really close from from a so i will i will write it like this and very small meaning that it's smaller than epsilon so so this is kind of formal definition of a limit and if you had some some lectures in calculus you would surely surely have seen seen this and it's kind of beautiful and on the other hand also some kind of, of cipher in it because it's not really easy to understand what what this really means if, if you occur it at first so let me let me explain uh, parts of of this so so first of all we have this this epsilon here so you can again imagine it from some kind of like maybe maybe not so not so mathematical point of view but imagine that, that like these these things a n uh, are not not real numbers but are results of, of some some kind of, of measurements so so a n are results of, of measuring measuring something yeah, so, so for example you have some kind of experiment and you do it over and over again and you would like to you would like to know whether it it, has, it stabilizes after some time to, to some to some value value a and now of course your your measurements are, are not perfect you you are not able to to distinguish anything so if two numbers are very close and meaning are closer than epsilon you cannot distinguish them at all now if, if I if I draw if I draw you real line you can distinguish that that a is smaller than B but you can hardly distinguish if I draw here here C uh, well what is what is uh, what is uh, small a or C in this in this picture it's hard to guess so in in my measurement here I can't distinguish them so for me they are exactly the same yeah so for me it it works like that some first number I don't care really about them they can they can act in any way but after some point I am not able to distinguish values of the sequence from a so they they appear to me as the same and meaning of, of this epsilon says that your measurement can be as good as as possible but it, you never will be able to to distinguish it yeah? so what you can do is to is to construct some some kind of better measurement yeah you can you can take this picture and you can you can zoom zoom in and what what you obtain there is that a is here and and c is here and we say okay so i can distinguish them they are like this so so now but what 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 it says okay so you have some some another point after some time and it will be again closer so no matter how good your measurement measuring method will be there always will be some some point after it after which it it won't work at uh, it won't work at all it won't help it won't say you anything about distance of a n from a it will say that you can't distinguish between a n after some time and a 
and of course when epsilon gets smaller and smaller then this this number and zero is getting bigger and bigger yeah? so you can, you can imagine if you have some kind of, of sequence which is going like like this Yeah, so, uh, and if you take I don't know epsilon this this big, so this is this is epsilon. So so then after this point, you won't be able to distinguish it from from this value. Yeah, because everything here seems to be the same. So what you can do, you can you can take some smaller epsilon epsilon half. So you can make it make it very very much closer. But the numbers here are distinguishable from from value here so you have to this was your n and zero here and this is your new n zero and n zero prime which is which is corresponding to this small epsilon so so the va the value of the n zero is changing depending on on the epsilon but there always exists some point after which which you don't know anything yeah so the the Problem is from the from the mathematical point of view that the, m your measuring will be never perfect, so you never can push the epsilon to be zero. There will be always some small small mistake in your measuring, and if some sequence is satisfying this, then then you cannot distinguish it uh, from from uh, sequence that is converging to it. it. It's closing. It's getting as close to the to the value as as possible. So so this is this is some kind of of meaning. And uh, I think I think it's it's good to good point to to say why why we should we should care about about limit why why it's so so important so so one one thing which is which is kind of useful is that you really don't care about about so much what what is what is limit of, of some sequence a n it's um, it's just saying whether whether it will it will uh, it will stabilize or 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 not. Much um, much more important thing for you is whether you have you have two sequences. You have some a n and you have b n, and you would like to to compare them. So you have two quantities, and you would like to know which one is bigger or whether they are similar of similar sizes so what you can do is you can calculate limit of let's say difference or limit of of their you can divide one one of them so you can uh, calculate the limit of, of the fraction of, 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 of their fraction so so something something like this and there is there are more possibilities of how it can work and you will know something about about um, about s uh, how how big these these things are, ha whether they grow fast or fast or not. Because if you, if you would be just calculating this limit of a n, then in most of the cases you will discover, for example, in combinatorics that a n is growing to infinity, and it's not so not so interesting interesting thing. But you can easily imagine that you have two two sequences which which are um, which are denoting some some kind of, of quantity, and then uh, you just want to just want to know which one is bigger or whether they are uh, of similar sizes. So let me let me uh, give you so 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 this normally this this thing here will exist normally exist, but but sometimes um, it does not exist. Uh, it, it's some kind of some kind of, of of special special things like if if you work with some some real real problem in most of the cases you will uh, this this quantity will be defined and um, like for example one one thing you can you can compare in in programming is that you have two two algorithms and each of them is is somewhat good and you would like to to compare them which one of the, of it is better so for example you can have one algorithm which for input of, of size n is, is working in in speed let's say n times walk walk to five of n and the other one is in speed n squared and the question is which one 
which one is is better. So, um, yeah, yeah, maybe meaning of, of this O, you can, you can imagine it's, it's roughly 